So I thought I'd do this one here. It's called The Day Democracy Died. And I'm at a uh, Schoon Palace in Scotland, where it's there. There's like the, the church behind me. It's got the Stony Destiny outside it. Thought it'd be quite a cool background for for this video. So the day democracy died. It's basically I don't know if it ever lived, kind of thing. That's what I wonder. Just recently, especially with everything that's been going on, was democracy just a ploy to keep all the peasants docile and happy, thinking that we actually had a say in how the country's run, how our society's run. Because these days, to me, it just seems like the politicians think they they own the country, the politicians and the rich. And then <clears throat> they basically they look down on us. They don't tell us anything. Come up with all these plans and schemes that suit them, that benefit them, and they don't benefit the people. Which is really quite, to me, it's no democracy. Even like your vote. I mean, you vote once every four or five years for the least worst party or the least worst candidate because none of them are good I can't even mind the last time there was like a buzz about like they're, they're going to help us out they're going to do stuff to help the people it just seems like they do it for themselves they're not interested in us so to me that's what it could be as democracy never existed it was just like a ploy just to keep us down and happy, getting docile and happy. And then uh, it lets them get on with ruin, ruin. It's basically, it's no different for like the, like having the king or the queen, because democracy is supposed to be about, like it's it's democracy kind of thing. And it's, it's the, the, the people in power are put there by the people, us, that vote them in. And it's to, to benefit us and benefit the country. And like I say, these days, they don't even consult us. They just go and do whatever they want. They don't seem to care about us. They look down on us, treat us badly, call us like derogatory names, stuff like that. Useless eaters, all this kind of stuff. And to me, that's that's just a ruling class. That's no, that's no democracy. They'd be as well all staying in a palace like that. They do actually stay in palaces, a lot of them. Westminster Palace, the House of the Commons, it was meant to be the House of the Common People. That's why it was supposedly built. But again, I think it's just a ploy, just a scam. I can't ever think, see, see because of things recently. Makes you think back. When, when did we ever have democracy? A shallow vote where corrupt, rich, powerful people always ended up in power and always did what was best for them at the expense of all us or the poor people. So to me, it is, it's just been a ploy and I, you've got to hand it to them what a ploy it was because we were all believing it. But even you take the election there. If everybody, this is the election in Britain I'm on about, if everybody that never voted at all voted for one single party, like if you created a party and everybody that nev never voted in that election voted for that one party, it would have won every seat in the parliament because about 40% of people didn't vote and 60% of people voted between about I don't know, about four or five parties. And the day they just don't listen to us. <laughs> Can you hear that? That's like peacocks or something there. There's like peacocks all running about here. Like they scream like a weird kind of noise. But but I basically, I mean, if you can tell me in the comments, when did we have democracy? When did your vote count? When have the rich and powerful not just done what was best for them? Even like, you look like we all vote and stuff. 
and what do they do straight away when they get in power? They do what's best for big business and for themselves. So for, for me, <coughs> that's a, uh, it just shows who they're, who they're doing it for. Big business pays them lots of money. It's all golden handshakes, they're in and out. Like when they leave parliament, they go and join a big company, get lots of money. Or they fly to America and speak and get lots of money for speaking. I think it's like a hundred thousand pound a speech for a 10 minutes or something. And yet we're all here at food banks and stuff like that. I mean, to me, it's disgusting. Like, and they, they just, even the COVID thing showed that like, we've all to lock down and you've not to see your family and they're on the parliament drinking wine and hen parties and affairs and stuff. They just don't care about us. And I think, again, I dare really think democracy, the day democracy died, you could ask, when did it ever live? And I think we need to do something about that. Because we call ourselves the free world and all that. But again, you could say, it's a bit like North Korea calling themselves the Democratic Republic and all that. Or like that's like, like it's a joke, isn't it? Like with countries that hear that in their name, you tend to find they're the opposite of that. And yet we call ourselves the free world and all that. And we're not really free. We're just like slaves. Like, none of them care about us. You've just, it doesn't matter if you're ill or sick or, or whatever, you still to go and make them money. It no benefit to yourself, really. You can't even afford the house these days. Or like, if you're like, like a single person, like if you were married, you could maybe just do it. But if you're on your own, you can't afford the house. You can barely afford anything. It's just survival mode. And that's just no good. Again, even like the country as a whole, there's no vision or no goal, like no, nothing that unifies us anymore. Or communities, like we're all just split and divided. Then you've got like the mass immigration thing. It's just causing more problems and it's causing people to hate other people and that. And I don't know if they're doing it deliberate. It seems like it is. So we're all arguing with each other while they just consolidate even more power and even more wealth because none of them are struggling and there's none of them have lived the lives that we all live or anything. So it's just, they're total, like they just total live in a different world. And I really do think democracy, it is a bit of a, a joke these days because it's not really democratic, is it? It'd be as well calling us the Demo Democratic Republic. Uh, the Democratic Republic of Great Britain. For, sorry, the battery's going to die there. So, but uh, it's just nonsense. But let me know what you think. Do you think we live in a democracy? Do you think it's dead? Do you think it ever lived? Just let me know in the comments. Be interested to hear what other people make of that. But that'll be that for this one anyway, so I'll catch you in the next one.